in your own life. Do you ever just find yourself walking to a service station like, oh, I'm that guy in Grand Theft Auto. (laughs) 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 Like when you're just going to get a power rate or something, you're like, you walk along and someone else goes past like, yeah, well, I'm going to see him Thursday anyway. You're like, oh. Should I be like, oh shit, these aren't the right jeans and just start saying <laughs> random NPC stuff? Tequila! Why don't want to be popular? G Mac. Is there anything for dessert or something? Oh, Mario! Oh, 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 oh my god! Whoa. Um, hometown Spider Man. Yay. I need help with doing a push up. This is still going? Yep. Fuck! <laughs> Hello, everybody, and thank you for coming to listen to this episode of the podcast. A quick apology. If you are watching the video version, you'll notice that the main cameras don't turn on until about 10 minutes in. Uh, Somebody forgot to hit record, Uh, but let's not point fingers or aim blame because it was probably Aiden. Um, Luckily, we always have the roof camera in case something like this happens so you aren't left in the dark. Enjoy. It was good. We were really happy when we got home. She was happy when we got home. Thrilled, thrilled to bits. Everyone was thrilled to pieces. Oh, great news! Um, so we're waiting for Beck and Ben to get back on the podcast so we could share this boxing thing, mm. the boxing lineup. Everyone, oh uh, yes, all the matches. <laughs> yes, yes, I like this. So we've been, uh, we've, we've, we've gone for like equal weight classes. Tried to match people together. Putting you two against each other was like funny, but it just wasn't right. Oh, know? really? This has been a switch up. Yeah, no, I've, and yeah. I've, I've made a whole lineup. I got to get a bunch. You of You don't want to embarrass you, Ben. Yeah, I didn't right. want. Okay. To. The fans may write. I didn't want though. you to break your, your, like your fist. Having, having <laughs> two of me fight. <laughs> <laughs> so. But there's beef. Me and I'd have the chair beef. <laughs> yeah, but that's like the big hype. That's like the but Royal that's Rumble. Not, that's like, this not is, what this is. This is WrestleMania. Is that the way in when we go out in the boxer shorts and do that on the scales? We have the chair in the background. That's and right. It's like right between us. <laughs> we stand up and go at each other's faces, and then the chair's right there. Both of us hand on arm. Chair. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe Aiden, you can show up as a surprise guest, like you can do all your Vince McMahon waddle <laughs> down the gangway. Like Ben, oh ben <laughs> Ben's fighting someone else, and then you hear. La 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 da da <laughs> la Poketa, go where the food is oh, Fuck so out! much better. Fuck out, it's Papa. Here's got it <laughs> Suplexes are good for the ish. <laughs> <laughs> all right, first up on the bout on the what is about what's the what's the lineup? What do you call a lineup? Card, a, the first card. up on the card. Is uh or well, the first card, first card, the first fight yeah. will first be um situation. Uh, the girl with two assholes versus Jean Claude. Jean Claude being the man I fisted. In front, in front, in you know he can take a pounding. <laughs> this is it, right? <laughs> but she can take twice as much pounding. Yeah, the bowling you know? ball. Girl. I'm not sure she can take anything. She's ready to pop. She's gonna yeah. in the I middle. I wonder how she is. I don't. Maybe there's three now. Well, that's it, right? Because she's that's an old story. Like by podcast standards, and it was an old story when I told it on the podcast. Yeah. So I wonder what the state of her assholes is now. Assholes. And I could, I could contact her and say, "Listen," but I won't. Don't. Because I don't know her anymore. You can't send that message out. I don't know her anymore. Hey, what's up? How's work? Um, assholes. Hey, and you might not remember me. Um, I used to. <laughs> Remember, he used to know me five years ago. Remember the guy who used more. to scrunch his nose up when you walked past because of the way that you, your <laughs> assholes reek? Yeah, how are they? Beck, am I in the middle of the frame? Should have asked that earlier. Yeah, yeah. you are. Speaking of assholes, <laughs> I'm in the middle. I'm, uh, up next, the next card. Did I get him? Sugi versus Ellie. Yeah, that's it. That one, that one we had a, it's gonna I be have scrappy. an issue. I reckon it's not going to be scrappy. I think it's going uh, to be very quick. quick. Shuggy's going to win. I was making a scrappy do pun. Oh. Just for me, for no one good. else. Yeah. <laughs> there is always scrappy one do. person, one or two people in the comments who goes <laughs> to like something Beck just said quietly to herself on the podcast. Thanks, guys. What was the one last week? There was something really funny where I was like, did you say that? And I listened back and we're all talking. You went like, <laughs> just said it super quietly underneath. It was a good gag. Anyways, Shuggy versus Ellie. Shuggy is going to destroy. The way this is going might be Aiden versus Ellie. <laughs> Look at that. That's so fucking cute. She's just like, stop. Um, yeah, I believe in Shuggy. I'm putting my money on Shuggy. Yeah, 100%. Shuggy, Shuggy's just big. She's so big. It's big, and she runs away from cats. Does she? Or the cat. Yeah. Meow. Yeah. I, I, it, it'll, be, it'll be hard to watch. Mm, it'll yeah, because I mean, it, it, with dogs, it's probably a fight to the death. Yeah. Yeah. That's the problem. We can, you know. And shuggy has been around longer, so you know what? Yeah. I'll give her that one. Okay. Um, 
up next, it, remember my great auntie who was pacing outside my house, being like, <laughs> "Oh, oh that's a the win. baby." Whoever she's against, that's a win. Yeah. <laughs> and with the imaginary friend on her shoulder, her uh, versus Dan Andrews, <laughs> her versus every corner of the house, going up against each other. Yeah, yeah. Right. The imaginary friend might tip her over the scale. Exactly. And also the fact that my grandfather's ninety-eight. Yes, but you know, could you know, in the Zimmer frame is a is is a pretty fucking powerful <laughs> weapon. <laughs> I don't know. The gag I said last week was every corner of the ring. <laughs> <laughs> Had to repeat it. Thank you. <laughs> um, uh, Sienna versus Graham, and, and now Graham is <laughs> the piece of shit who wouldn't let me book the haunted house place. Oh, Just okay. last week or the other week, we weren't talking about it. And I said I wouldn't say his name <laughs> because Ooh. anybody gets sued. Yeah. Weight, weight classes? Are they a similar weight class? He's I don't a very think small so. man. <laughs> Is he? He's, a, he's a small man. Yeah, intellectual. Yeah. I think it's more about passion and that Sienna wants to beat him up. You know? Okay. I want to give her that opportunity yeah. to drop I feel like Graham like she, a bad There's probably smell. a bunch of people that she would fight, though. It's kind of like Rey Mysterio when he fought The Undertaker. That's exactly at what I was Royal thinking. Royal Rumble 2004. Mm-hmm. How did that Should go? Should be swinging off the The Undertaker ropes. won, but Rey Mysterio was in control for the whole time. He just happened to he get caught the in the middle of the 619 mm-hmm. into the tombstone pile driver oh. and lose. Sometimes oh, yeah, you just okay. got to rest in peace, you know what I mean? It's a coin toss, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, Ben, maybe you can answer this. As a resident, well, I don't you let know. me know the uh, question, and I'll let you know if I can answer it. Whatever fighting that you did, why do they call it a ring when it's not a circle? Because back in the right. old days, you would when you would go into the arena that it was, uh-huh. you would both have to put a ring on, okay, to say yeah. that we are uh, wedded together in holy competition, yeah, mm-hmm. and in combat. Holy- Bash Ramoni. Yeah, um, if you like, uh, and <laughs> they would send them into the Colosseum. <laughs> yeah. And you would know that the person with the ring on that was the same color and size as your ring, you would have to fight that person. Yeah, you just uh-huh. So up. you're going, really, you're going into the ring. But since it's modern times, we don't need to wear the ring anymore because there's usually only two people. And so you know who it is that you're fighting. And yeah. so that is That's, really. Yeah. It's interesting. It's, it's like, interesting um, you know, that. cheers. Just to prove that you, you used to pour bits of drink into the other drink to prove that you didn't poison or handshakes to prove that you didn't have a knife in your hand. Like we still do the. The thing, but not really to the full extent, and not for the same reasons. That's right. You know, it's uh, it's amicable these I'm, days. It's like a I had no idea about the cheers and the. That's the, true. The, that's crazy. And so I'm going to shake everybody's so hand. True. Now the ring they call it the squared circle. Do they? Yes. Sure. What they do? Is that real or are you doing a bit? No, that's real. Why do they call it a squared circle? Well, because it's not PC a circle, God, man. but it's ring. <laughs> PC it's God. ring. It's a ring. We answered that question on the podcast last week. Typical of a bunch of people have been punched in the fucking head. <laughs> <laughs> to be like, squared circle. <laughs> they call it the ring, ladies and uh, and gents and uh, others, is uh, because because they used to draw a circle in the dirt. Yes. And so that was the ring. That's what we worked that out last right. week. <laughs> it's probably the ring on the finger. I would say they would just put the ring on their finger just for well, a laugh. Well, that's where the ring came from, right? So they said oh. they said ring, as in uh, I put on the ring to enter into Holy Bashramoni, but that's after. So that's more in the Bronze Age. I'm talking now Stone Age. You do a ring in the dirt, and they'd go, <laughs> that's the caveman. And okay, then they'd, they'd fight in yeah. the ring, and then they'd put the ring on, and nowadays um, it's an octagon. Here's a bout that everyone's really excited for. You uh, can feel the buzz in the air. It's Beck versus a mug. One v one. Yeah, Beck so is a grudge match though. It's a grudge match. Mug <laughs> trying to get their own back. <laughs> I think. I think. I think. I think we'd like. I'd like to see a couple of exhibition matches from Beck scattered throughout the evening. Just like the mug will be. So like the mug. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, shit. I'm fighting words. Are we doing that wasn't, talk? Are we doing it? That yeah. wasn't really a bout between Beck and the mug. That was more like a gangland execution. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just destroyed the mug and swept it under. <laughs> Won't see him no more. We don't talk about that. Yeah, that mug sleeps with the fishes. When I, when I pitched this to Aiden last week, he said something Is that, that I, I, I've, I've been thinking see- about a lot. What did I say? And I, I have decided that I disagree. Really? You were saying that if you laid, if you laid, if you load, if you, load mu- if, if you laid the mug down oh, on its side video. on the ground and jumped on it, you could break it. Yeah, isn't that what they do in Jewish weddings? At the they end? Have glasses. Oh yeah. You don't think you could break a mug if you laid uh, it on the floor? It depends. What I don't think if I laid this mug yeah, on the ground that yeah. you could break it by jumping on it. Yeah. I think you could. You could break it if you laid it on its side. Yeah. Hundred percent. 
I don't even know if you have to jump on it. I think you just have to stomp on it. Let's go outside and find out. I'd be, I'd be, I, I, I want to break one of your mugs. I feel like it just hurt your foot more than anything. I feel like just the, I don't know what it is that's making me think it's not possible. It's possible. Hey, you give me two minutes with that mug, that boy's going to break. Yeah. You throw it into the ground, yeah. yeah. Although, I mean, yeah. I'd also, so, I don't know. I think, I think definitely you could easily, definitely, without question, You're break the mug. Yeah, I mean, I'm a heavy man. We can experiment. I'll finish this before the end of the podcast. I, don't think, I think I could do it. I don't think it's that. Yeah, yeah I just think it's definitely definitely a thing that would I'd be interested happen. to see. I'd be interested to see. Because I'm really, I'm like firmly like, I just don't think you can. If it's upright. No, no, I'm talking on the side. Probably not. Side. But on the side, hundo. All right, I'm, I'm looking forward. It'll definitely not be able to be drunk out of. <laughs> do you know what I mean? And at that just point, it's like it be a man. It may not oh. shatter into the existence. I'm so you, you can't just break off a chip, though. It has to be like a bit, at least that big. No, I reckon at, at the worst, it's going to have a crack all the way I through. I think total structural failure I is think, what we're I think. For. I think it's going to go like this. I, uh, into I, a love heart. I disagree, and I would like... Uh, we'll we, do it after we the podcast. It? Yeah, that's fine. Can we do it on the podcast at the end? Because I'll finish this. Yeah, I mean, you'll get coffee on your mug and... On your mug. Damn is that it. one of our nice ones? It's just a little tea. It's a little bit. Just get a bad mug. No, I want to use this one. But this I don't want to break a nice mug of yours. It's fine. I'll get another one. They, they, these are like Kmart mugs. Okay. Yeah. Another exhibition match that I'd like to see from Beck is Beck in the Take Some Sugar to the House Next Door race. Just, just like a <laughs> like an egg and spoon like type an deal, but a sugar in fingers, but like a sugar in fist, and yeah. see how much sugar you can get. Heaps, heaps of sugar. <laughs> He's way more than you need. <laughs> and if she gets it there, she gets the punch overs in the house. That's and you right. know what else? It's going to be warm. <laughs> Do you think he can break the mug, Mr. Uh It depends on the mug. That is a thick mug, but I still think he can do it. Yeah, all right, I all can right. see why you started. It's not one of those perfectly cylindrical ones. It's kind of conical. Yeah. So I can see why you started to doubt yourself, but I, I think you're overestimating I, mug. Damn. Yeah. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm <clears throat> nervous now that I have to try it. We're nervous, but we're excited. What's yeah. the method? Because really, nobody loses. It's probably going to be like this. Are you going to jump or are you going to like What's wrong? American History X? What? Uh oh. What is it? Just tell Wait, me. Just come here. Uh, I don't want to say anything in case you're I'm being wrong. Hacked. The video. The video. Exhibit A. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God, I messed up the camera angle so many times. <laughs> Just keep your eye on that button, Beck, because I I am 100% certain I was recording. Um, you mean just keep an eye on the counter? Yeah, just look over every now and again to make sure it's still going. Absolutely. I'm not sure why it would have stopped. Well, it's a good thing you have an eagle-eyed producer who noticed after Thank 15 you, minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next fight. Yo! Oh, yes. uh, this one's more of a... This is. I mean, this is... This is a big one. Yeah. But um, Hometown Spider-Man versus Ronald McDonald from the McDonald Cinematic Universe. Yeah. Big one. Big I, one. It's I very powerful. Who, I don't know who wins that. No, I think it might be a draw. Really? One of those like... I, I'm, I'm, what is it? Rocky like, 2 freeze frame. Rocky 1. Which is the one where they both Rocky, punch at the same time? Rocky 2. They punch each other's fists <laughs> and then like a big ball goes... And then they just go into some other <laughs> Marvel dimension. Where they're just like floating around in space for a minute and then Dr. Strang comes out and is <laughs> like... Wait, come back to this place. And then he whips him into the next movie. Easy peasy. <laughs> yep. Uh, back, back to you, Aiden. What? <laughs> um, the next one. Now, this is where I took Aiden out and put him in a different fight. This is Aiden versus Toby Datsun. So yeah. For all those intros. Grudge match. Mm, interesting, interesting. Real. Yeah, I'd watch that. 100% I think I'd win, but the mutton chops will do me uh, fucking give me a run for my money. Mm -hmm. Does he get the base? Like, has he got a weapon? Nah, nah, nobody nah, has nah. weapons. It's it's fists. Fisto-y fisto. Oh, this is like a genuine, let's get ready to rumble. Yeah. Why aren't I that guy, by the way? <laughs> you can't be that guy. You just have to fight right after. You pulled That's the mic. Right. To, I want the mic hanging down from yeah. the roof. Let's get ready to rumble. Yeah, so you're telling me that I can't be like Mr. Ooh, what was his name? You can't Mr. Do Kennedy. Buffer. Mr. Kennedy from the WWE <laughs> universe. The fuck? It'll be like this. You'll be like, in the left corner, the most handsome man on the face of the earth. He yeah. puts the he puts the eek in Greek. It's Aiden Jonathan. He puts the eek in Greek. And I in love the that. other corner, a con. Yeah. <laughs> the, the next bout, Ben. Versus everybody who's ever wronged him. <laughs> <laughs> juicy, juicy. How juicy much time fights. have we got? We're doing a Rod Laver on it's MCG. Not even, it's not even it's, the main event. That's it's, that's a separate arena, separate event. It goes over a, a week or so. It's like a carnival thing, yeah, round robin. Yeah, and you just go until you collapse. Do you think you have the stamina <clears throat> to kill everyone? Kill? If he can take yeah, on 17 death. children, he can take on everybody who's <laughs> Easily ever 17 children. So many children wronged him, by the way, and me. 
And that's the thing. We have to be in that fight as well, all of us. So it's like you still get to fight eight and it's just yeah. a, like round 78. Mm-hmm. You know? How many people do you think conservatively, how many people do you <laughs> think have wronged you? Fuck. I don't know. <laughs> Today? Should we <laughs> keep a list just for a, a thought experiment? This week, can we keep a list of everyone that we think has wronged us? Just on a weekly basis. Do you feel basis. like finally you found an excuse for your list? <laughs> I finally got no. a reason to bring my list out. No, 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 no. Can we all like bring... <laughs> Bring a list next week. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'll send you the format. But uh, <laughs> no, I think we should keep a list of everybody that's wronged us, and then we okay. can see how um, how many people wronged us. <laughs> you, you should you cut out any like custom interaction. Customers don't count. Okay, so it's because I ha- I see more people. Okay, all right. Customers aren't real people. We know customers. That. I sometimes I think customers are NPCs. <laughs> With the stupid fucking shit they talk about. I feel like an NPC sometimes. <laughs> In your Can own you just life. find yourself walking to a service station like, oh, I'm that guy in Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> 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 like when you're just going to get a power rate or something, you're like, you walk along and someone else goes past like, yeah, well, I'm going to see him Thursday anyway. You're like, oh, should I be like, oh, shit, these aren't the right jeans and just start saying <laughs> random NPC stuff. Hey, my man. man. My rent's due Thursday. Oh, <laughs> just keep <laughs> walking along. <laughs> So I feel like, well, who's the who's the who's the player then? Someone who's driving the past character? quickly in like a yeah, whoever's got the cool, nicest car. Yeah, yeah, through the player. Foot, 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 doing whatever they want, driving past. Or yeah. the guy in a BMX. Yeah, yeah, True. there you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the guy. Just like, find oh. the guy with the gun. <laughs> yeah, gun. And then he can go like past me, but not anywhere near me, and I'll jump back and go, "Hey, watch your buddy, <laughs> <laughs> man." I'm going to start doing that, just uh, NPCing hey, around the supermarket. <laughs> just walk around with the stupid walk. Like, ha oh, ha, two bucks for biscuits? You got to be joking me. And just walk around <laughs> past people with their shopping baskets. My man. <laughs> the, Looking fresh. So the big, That's so good. The big, the big event is still GMAT versus Stacky, but in a pool. Bring it to the home turf. In a pool? Yeah. If we pool. can get the scheduling right. Ah, good one. Take that. Fucking, I'm not going to say their names. I've already said enough tonight. Um, yeah. Cool. I'm going to burst him on the home turf. Graham. No, I'm just going to, it's just going to be like who goes the longest and then whoever loses, I just get to punch it's them just in the punch. So everyone else is going to fight. It's just a swimming race. And then the main card is a swim off. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know whether don't you should know. be in charge of this promotion. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, think, I, think, I think you should give it So to obviously bed. we got the kickboxing, then we got the judo, then it's just like all out MMA in the octagon, no rules, throw elbows, groin stuff, whatever. <laughs> and then at the end, we're going to have a big knit off. <laughs> We're all going to sit down in rocking chairs and see who can make the quickest, coolest scarf. We're having a poetry conversation. I was hoping yeah. I could just like wear out the audience so when it got to me, I wouldn't have to get punched. Nah, you're getting punched. <laughs> Damn it. You've got to have a fight. If it's a water-based fight, let's say you're in, a, you're in the ring, but it's three quarters filled with water. Okay. Then you just have to do that stupid thing where your legs go out to the <laughs> side when you run through the water, like when you're at the beach. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's just, just like knee high. It's just <laughs> over your knees. <laughs> So you can't move very well, but you can definitely smack the shit out of somebody. I can't move very well as it is. <laughs> In water, you can. I duck. That's it. No yeah, dive. I think you should do like a hybrid situation. All right, yeah. You can do that thing where you lay and you float your legs up in the air and you just kind of crawl towards him with your butt <laughs> floating. You can just bite a bubble on the... Get towards him and kick him. <laughs> That'd be great. I think because uh, if you did it in a full pool, there would be no damage. <laughs> you know, you're like, all right, Stacky, here we go. Oh yeah, right. No falling damage. Oh, in a full one with the but yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. punch in a pool. It's like a scene from the Matrix. It's like when you dream the and you best try and film punch ever made. Yeah. Oh, I had a dream the other day, and I understand how very, very not interesting other people's dreams are. We'll see. But I had a dream where I was in a hot oil. oil, oil. oil. I was in a hot. <laughs> <laughs> I was in a hot air balloon. Oh, with, oh. with you four, three. and we all so had you three. three. Yeah, yep. four, including Ellie, and we all had sniper rifles, and we just nice. shot people. But then it, we landed, and the police found us, and the police asked you guys a question, and you all guys just like answered truthfully because you didn't do anything wrong apparently, and I lied, and I woke up. <laughs> In such a in such a panic, I genuinely woke up and said, "Oh, thank God, it was a dream." So I thought I was going to prison. Is there a Fortnite vibes? Did Beck Fortnite. gaslight you? Beck in the dream. No. And Beck came home and said, "This looks great." <laughs> Beck always gaslights me in my dreams. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> um, did you guys see that an actual hot air balloon came down in Melbourne the other week? 
No. Crashed into an apartment in Eltham. Oh no! Oh my god! Yeah. Is the person alive? They're all. They all lived. Oh good. Yeah, it's just oh. scary. I'd like to be in a hot air balloon crash if I live. You yeah, like oh, if you live. Oh, if you live. If you I'd like live. to be in a helicopter to crash if I live. I mean, you know. I don't want to like live. I don't want to be in either. Even if I live, I don't want to do it. I don't want to be an injury. I don't want to have unharmed, injuries. Unharmed. You want the live. brownie points? Yes. Unharmed. That's it. I that want to be unharmed. A good distinction. Like the this is. I'm not saying that. We should start the podcast. <laughs> More you haven't started the G-Mat. Uh, Hello and welcome to episode 198 oh, fuck. of the G-Mat Podcast. So allegedly there's a Telecaster coming my way. I'm going to play a... The gentleman is running. He's running. Actually, look that way. Everybody look that way. He is running right now. Okay, let's do a 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, one, yeah! My name is Aiden, and I am awesome. Everybody loves me because I'm awesome. My name is Aiden, and I'm really, really awesome. 100%. If you don't believe me, listen to what my backup singers have to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's really awesome, yeah. Well, there you have it. Which is available at teespring.com forward slash stores forward slash the real GMAT. Go get yourself some merch. There's a jumper with that Pikachu on it. Uh, that intro is brought to you by Toby Datsun. He was being nice this week. Wow. That was good. If you'd like to submit an intro, send it to contact at realgmat.tv. Is that all you people? Or submit it in the Discord. No, he just did that by himself? Yeah. If you want to support the podcast, patreon.com forward slash the GMAT podcast. Pledge any amount. You get access to the post show, which is a little extra podcast content stop the music thank you hello that wasn't like the band no that was just i don't know <laughs> there was a woman's voice is what i was wondering. i have no, no idea that was just him i have no idea how that was made or when wow all i know it wasn't it was made all i know is he spends a lot of time thinking about you a lot of time mm. thinking about me yeah hello everybody welcome to the gmap podcast which is still recording indeed uh my name is matt i'm the host of the still recording podcast uh on my right i'm joined by ben J. Hi. Thank who's you. here for the still recording? Yeah. Yep, yeah. <laughs> Across from me, Aiden Jonathan. Hi. And it's still recording. It is. And producing the show and making sure that it's still recording. <laughs> Becky J. Hi. Um, uh, sorry, everybody, for the start of the podcast where we only have roof visuals because I don't know. It, I, it could have been my fault. Really, it could have been. But I was so sure it was recording. I heard you say fuck the viewers. I heard it. We all did. I mean, it wasn't private. That's true. Yeah. I said it in a megaphone. <laughs> that fucking megaphone. Is that gone now? Yeah, it got auctioned off again. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. You scared me more than once with that thing. It's my job. Yeah. I remember the days on the stream, and there's clips of it, where I would be streaming and Ben would ninja his way into my house, literally oh, having wow. his face covered. Oh, I yeah. forgot about that. Come in behind me and just like come into the frame of the camera and I couldn't see him. There's the best one where I'm like playing the game and then you see me look at the second screen to look, look at the chat and that and look at my display and I'm like, is that something behind me? And I turn around and I go, ah! And, it's, and <laughs> someone cuts it off straight away. That's the best one. <laughs> That's he's, when he comes in the front door. No, no, I locked the front door. That was on where he came around the side. He managed right. to come in oh, through right. the side of the house, which I didn't even think there was access to at that point. It wasn't. And he's <laughs> I made it happen. <laughs> and he snuck through the laundry. That's a great one. Through the kitchen. The problem with that is to get to your back door, I had to go through Jason's house. And he was <laughs> not happy about that. <laughs> and you were like, no, no, it's Ben, it's Ben, it's yeah. Ben. And pulled down the mask. Yeah. I'm trying to sneak into Matt's house to scare him. Don't be such a fucking nerd. God. And you thwomped one of his kids on the top of the head. And so it just happens there. that I have to go through all of your kids' rooms to get there. <laughs> you should have built your house different. Is this is this for gra- is this for up for grabs? What is it's it? A it's a toy. Is it in this scene? It's a toy. The only way I can scare him is with a spare PlayStation. I'm gonna have to take it. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Yep. It's been a while since we've been in the room together. That's yeah. true. Yeah, it really has. Everyone, everyone feeling good, feeling happy. The energy is palpable now that we're all back together. It's electric. It's Sizzling. Popping. 
It's, huh? it's, it's, I don't have another synonym. <laughs> I've been experimenting with my tummy, so I'm a little, my tummy's a little Oh, wow. Like one of those. Um, Failed experiments. <laughs> what it's experimenting? Well, because I, I, I know I have like lactose intolerance, but I think it's getting worse the closer to 30. So I'm like. Maybe you should stop eating lactose. Exactly. Oh, that's interesting. But I, I was having, mm. having ice cream lately. I had ice cream in the. Seems f- too simple. <laughs> I had yeah. ice cream in the freezer. So I started eating ice cream. I was like, every day I'd be like, oh, my tummy hurts. And that's the next day. So I was like, I have a tummy, I got diarrhea. I don't know what's going on. I'm like, I haven't been eating ice cream. Stopped eating ice cream. It went away. Oh but God. just oh. to make sure. Mm, mm. Yeah, because you've been diagnosed with you've been diagnosed with lactose intolerance. I've been diagnosed with IBS. But lactose intolerance? No, that's just for you. Just from living a life of IBS, you work out what foods. So every time you eat cheese or dairy, you have terrible diarrhea and stomach pains. Not so much cheese. It's really just like milk, ice cream, like just milk dense things. Right. Like that, yeah. So how's your tummy today? Yeah, well, last night I was like, I'll eat ice cream. Now that my tummy's good, I'll eat ice cream, see how it feels tomorrow, and then I'll know for sure. Purely and for science reasons. I know for sure now it is know. ice cream. Yeah, of course it was yeah. ice cream. Yeah. And she wouldn't let me have a second bowl. Last the night. goal. Ah, but are you kidding? You the had a goal. very big first are you t- bowl. Are you telling me that his <laughs> last ever bowl of ice cream, you didn't let him have two? That's uh, what I said. I said, his last if ever tomorrow. Bowl, singular. <laughs> I said, if tomorrow... I have a sto- sore but stomach. We all know that that won't be your last bowl of ice cream. I, I've been feeling. We all well, know. Exactly. It. I mean, not forever. Exactly. So what's the point for of today? It depends. What's the, sec- what's the point of the second bowl? Uh, because I'm not going to do it today. <laughs> <laughs> this is, that's today's bowl, Beck. I'm having today tomorrow's bowl. I'm having today's bowl and tomorrow's bowl today, and probably the next day's bowl. I'm going to do <laughs> that. This is a three bowl day, and then the next two days we'll have no bowl. Probably. I knew I was. I looked at my schedule. I knew I was just working today. I didn't have to go out anywhere. We're I was just like, working right. and shitting. But most have- people don't want to have diarrhea when they're working. Yeah, but I mean, my tools. He right doesn't there. want to, but he doesn't want to not have ice <laughs> yeah, cream. Like, seriously, two, like two I bowls. Could, yeah, two bowls. He's already got the diarrhea. At that point, he could add old tub. Also, uh, ice magic. So, like ice magic and ice cream. I'm not. And also, give. your your, your portion sizes are not a normal person's. Okay, <laughs> all right. So one How bowl, was, the bowl? was already it a was large. Quite, it was bowl. A, it was a big bowl of ice cream. Covered in ice magic. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I was gonna have to take. I don't know how to. Like, give me like amount. Hello. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Give me a amount of ice cream in a fist size. Like this is the size of your brain, two fists together. Was it bigger than your brain? Did you have more than yes. your brain? Probably worth? like that. That's a large portion of ice cream. Yeah, but it was broken up so it looks small. See what I mean? That's why I yeah. said no second Beck, bowl. You're right. All right, no second bowl. I'm trying to find the conversation we had. Who? Uh, me and you. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About pooing. Random. About your poopy tummy. Do I still have random text messages from? Probably not. It's time for poopy tummy chat. Poopy Tommy chat. Random text messages from Jim. Um, yeah. So that's what. Uh, so you lactose intolerant, which I've sure. known about you for some time. Yeah, it is nice. The conversation we had, you were getting quite angry about. Yes, I know fiber, blah blah blah, but my want to have cheese and ice cream outweighs my want to not shit myself all the time. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Powerful. Yeah. No yeah. self control. Well, yeah, and I've just sort of like, I haven't quite been able to, I, I've ignored it entirely and haven't put my finger on exactly what is the thing that causes me. I was like, I have IBS, so it's everything. Probably two bowls of ice cream. Maybe. Two yeah, bowls of ice cream, two yeah. Bowls of ice cream. So the ice cream doesn't help. I also think there's a little fructose thing there, but nothing. I've got 100% I've got fructose, but you better believe I'm ignoring it. Exactly. Can because I be honest what is it? I'm just bloated and I have a sore stomach. I'd never shit myself. There you go. Then it's not a problem. I don't, like, it's never, never culminates in poo problem. Oh. Easy peasy. It's just bad stomach. Ice cream magic is not good. No, it's bad. Like no. It's bad. It's not. I don't know. I really like. I've always liked it since I was a kid. I've liked. I think it's because I liked it so much when I was a kid. It's like yeah, the, it's, why? That's I don't magic. know. Well, it's like the it's like the slices of cheese, which are dog shit. By the way, oh, they're, they're, they're very good, dog good. shit. Yeah. But you had them a lot when you were a kid, so it's like this thing that you that you like. It's got memories attached to it. You know, I feel that way about ice magic. Here's what I don't understand. Go on. Ice cream soft. Yeah. That's the experience that I'm going for when I want ice cream. Why would you coat it in this rock hard Have you ever had crap? a magnum? It's not rock. Are you nuts? Also, it's yeah. not yeah. wild. But it's a, it's a bowl it's of ice cream. Yeah, it's but it's the same. It's nah, the hard and the soft, cr- the crunch and the, <laughs> the crunch and the soft is a great combo. A marvelous combo. Also, when it gets cream? in your mouth, it starts to melt and it's just like, a, it's, it's not you? that. It's the, the consistency is not the problem. It's mm. fine. It's the fact that it tastes like smarty chocolate, which tastes like yes. vomit. That's the That's problem. That's true. No, it doesn't. No! It doesn't taste like the vomit chocolate. You like, don't say that. No, really. I know the vomit chocolate, the Hershey's chocolate, the vomit yeah. chocolate. It doesn't taste like that. Well, they're different. Do you like smarties? 
I like Smarties, I think. Okay, well, I don't like Smarties, so I, I, feel, like, I feel like these are two camps. I prefer yourself, so. M&Ms, you know. But I never I'll, thought I liked Smarties. I'm not going to throw a Smartie away if someone offers me one. You should throw it away. Everybody's on their phones. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, but, but I'm, I'm trying to find To something. be fair, it's because I'm bored. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I never had, when I was a kid, I never had um, Ice Magic. I had the Cadbury chocolate <laughs> top. Oh, of Classic, I course know, it is. which was unreal. We had Linda. Did it go hard or was it? No, like, it was what? literally <coughs> fancy. We had fancy. Ferrero Rocher. We had a man oh, shaved yeah. chocolate flakes. I thought flakes. he was saying he had no, Linda. No, I was like, what? I did, often, magic. I did sometimes have shaved <laughs> chocolate, but but um, Cadbury. I'll say when chocolate. <laughs> but, we had like cold it Cadbury chocolate. It's like it's just like melted the chocolate, but it's they sold it. And it was unbelievable. It was thick because it was just oh, chocolate. Listen to this guy. It was fucking unbelievable. They don't even make it anymore. Ours was oh. it's because they can't find it. They can't. There's no mines left it's for it. Unbelievable. It's like Blood crude chocolate. oil. It's just run it out. It was <laughs> unreal. We had black and gold, brown styled, poor chocolate yeah, ice cream yeah, afters. Yeah, yeah, classic. Yeah. I didn't have always have the Cadbury one. Let's get this straight. Sometimes okay. it ran out, and no, we had to go had back to our vat of you know the old one, LA not Ferrero LA, Rocher. LA ice. <laughs> I was say LA ice. We had to have spiders. LA ice cream topper. Yeah, no, it was the other one that's not you know the one that's just normal topping. McCain's. Oh, like the the it's like a got a blue label. It's got a blue lid. Yeah. Chocolate fudge. That's right. Mm. It's just chocolate fudge. That mm. also was. Oh, a that stuff's the fucking house. bomb. Mm. That's yeah. good. That's good shit. But no, it's good as camera. <sighs> That's all I got for you. Okay. I don't. Uh, I like ice magic. I don't know what I'm saying. What? I'm not. A, I'm not an ice cream guy very often. I. Uh, or I, I'm an ice cream on the stick. Guy. I go through phases. I go through phases where ice cream is just the fucking best. Mm. Any ice when it's cream in the freezer is that those phases? I don't have ice cream in the house usually. Just I happen to yeah, buy. There's it always away. an ice cream. Yeah, we nuts? have ice cream in the every house. time I come here. You're like, you want oh, an ice she cream? just doesn't I'm tell like, you. Yeah, not so. every time you come here. Paddle lo- pop. Ice okay, cream no, sorry, sorry. Yep, you're right. Fucking. A paddle pop, uh, ice cream in a bowl. It's uh, mm, all ice cream. I do. I don't. I forget about paddle pops. <laughs> I forgot about. <laughs> they're just like the emergency ice creams. The stick ice the, creams is when you know we're running low. Because the paddle pops, I don't get. Cause they're I'm, just to get us. They're I the want, reserve on the tank. <laughs> I don't get them because I want them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if there's ice cream in the house, I've gone. I've gone. You know, I'm getting ice cream this week. But we just have paddle pops in the house. They are reserve ice cream. They are like, they're they're just to get you to the petrol station there's to top bunch, up on tubs. It's because they're seventy. <laughs> if they're seventy calories. And they're yeah, really no. good at like the Negligible. end of the night to just. They are good. My, my sister they're easy just to just have. No. It's like, oh, my tummy's going to be fine tomorrow. <laughs> quick, what have I got to ruin my shits? <laughs> <laughs> Give me something on a stick, quick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just like someone eating the chicken. Wing. Oh, thank God! I can feel my stomach turning inside out. Like a, woo, the next day. Eating a fish. All right, I'll be asleep in the toilet, Beck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a I'm a sucker for an ice cream on a stick. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if any, if it's on a stick, it could be the worst ice cream on the planet. It's the best thing. It could be the worst ice cream, and I'm happy about it because it's on a stick. Really? I feel like it makes it more awkward. I like just with the spoon. You can just like, I can put as much as I want on this, and it's all Because I, I have to do this. <laughs> That's I have how to I do this. <sighs> ice cream on a stick. Um, contentious question. How do we feel about Dippin' Dots? What the fuck Any is opinions? a Dippin' Dot? What is a Dippin' Dot? We had them when we went to the mountains. Yeah, but again, I didn't mountains. know. I was like, these guys. Is I that not a thing people know about? What's a these guys? The only people in my life who've known is what a dip and dot Whippy is. Is it Mr. Whippy that gets dipped in the ice cream? No, 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 no. They are tiny little, they're like tiny ball bearings made of ice cream. And you just, in, instead Surely of a scoop. Surely that's the advertising material. It's something it? that you would get at like a gas station or a, in a small town. Or a carnival. Or and they put them in a Small little thing and eat them. Of ice cream. They're so cold; they, they just are stay. They, are they wrapped? Oh. Are they coated in anything? They, say, they have like like little s- sprinkles and stuff on them, don't they? Um, oh, so it's just a ball of ice cream you eat with your hands? Oh no, no, I they were really those. Understand how no, you eat them with a spoon. It's like it's like little balls with a spoon. You spoon them into your mouth. It's like I thought cereal you ate them with your hands. Cream. I thought you were saying it was like Maltesers, but just but just ice cream, which sounds tiny, tiny balls. Okay, we're gonna go get our tarot done, and we're gonna go for dip and dots. Yeah, afterwards. I want to go get our tarot done again. Again, again, I, I want to again, but yeah, we've never had it done. It, do you know, does that, mean, you know that, that doesn't make any sense, but I'm sure I, it does I now you. again want to. GMAT yeah, goes yeah, up I the mountain. It. I Let's wanted to, it. then I forgot, and now I want to again. Yeah, but I never did it the first time, so I can't want to again. Yeah. I, um, I Is wanted, that a tea? Yeah. I thought it was a coffee. I'm going to fucking tea, you dickhead. I had a story I wanted to Whoa. share with you guys, because I was talking to Beck about this the other night. Oh, and, yeah? And it's, it's, it's pretty... Weird. It's strange. Okay. I hate it. I hate it. Brings it brings me rage. Um, and when I told her the back, she's like, "That's fucked." I was like, "Yeah, thank you." Okay. When I was dating a girl in high school, Ooh. I want to say like it was like this year. Is where last week. 
Because <laughs> that is fucking. That's not. I don't like that either. That brings me rage as well. You yeah. big ew. When I was in high school and uh, I was dating a girl in high school, seems Makes a bit sense. convenient. Yeah. <laughs> we You've um, been in high school for some time. I was man. in a high school. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was there. She was attending. I was there to date her. <laughs> and to teach. Yeah. Um, <laughs> when I uh, I went on like a, a family trip with them, they were like, because we've been together for a couple of years, yeah. and it was year twelve, and they're like, he can come if he wants to, and I was like, okay, and I came, and we went on a on a on a boat on like the Murray, like a like a house boat, um, and they did this like it felt like a hazing ritual on me, mm-hmm. and I think and. I remember someone saying like, "Oh, we did, we we did, we did this to like the last boyfriend or something, and he was gone, like he wasn't there anymore." And I'm like, "Did you do it to the the person that the person married?" Like, no, no, no. And I'm like, "Okay, so this is clearly for people that don't like." Um, but right. the, I I wish I could remember the gag. But basically, they tricked me. They did some like they they worked out a way to corral everyone outside right. on the on the houseboat to like the the there's a bit of the houseboat that's outside. Um, and somehow got me in a position where I was like, they were around me and they were like, all right, this is a family joke. We've got to tell the joke, blah, 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 whatever the joke was. And the joke punchline was like me saying a whale. Like they, they it was like a guessing game or something. And sure. I said a whale or a whale's blowhole. And then they all spat their drinks on me. <laughs> they went <laughs> and spat and like worked it out. So that like, all right, the dad's like, all right. So when I say blah, 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 make sure everybody takes a drink. And then he's, he's going to say a whale. Or something, and then everyone spits their drinks on me. I wish I could remember how the how it went, but all I remember is saying like a whale or a whale's blowhole or something like that, and then seven or eight people spitting their drinks on me, and I was like, <laughs> "Oh, isn't this funny, Matt?" And I'm just covered in spit, and I was like, "Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah." And I and I yeah. You I know, went. second time around hearing that, that's pretty funny. <laughs> it was just that, like... They took you outside, at least. I don't think that's funny at all. I'm not part of their family, and then they all just fucking spat on me. Oh, yeah, you can't do that in the <laughs> pandemic. And so I'm, like, slimy as well. And so I just... And it's the, mid- it's the middle of the night, so I jump in the river to wash all oh. this shit and off they me. they drove and away. Jump, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if it was, like, it was like a beach day or something, and you were all already getting wet and stuff, maybe it would be... Yeah, it was in my clothes. What were they drinking? I don't, booze, like like. Oh, so calm. now I'm covered in coke and whiskey. Yeah, that's gross. Yeah, it was. It was it's fucking like doing a body shot. <laughs> it was fucking dumb. That sounds so fucking. I, I remember been, later I that night, annoyed. like like I was just a bit tense, and then you think like the, the girl, my ex girlfriend, my girlfriend at the time, said something like, "What's wrong?" And I was like, "I oh, just." Everyone spat on me. She's like, oh, <laughs> She's like, it's a joke. That's it. She's like, it's a fucking joke. Oh, that's where the gaslighting comes. Fucking get yeah. the fucking you know. Yeah, but I mean, technically, it's it is get a joke. On board. But it's a shocking joke. It just yeah. it's a, reminds it's me of terrible. a more full on version of your chicken joke. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it was, and it was also because the dad was like the ringleader. It was his idea, and I mm-hmm. thought the dad liked me. Yeah, and I just he had way too much joy in his face when everybody spat on me. Yeah, yeah. it's gross. This I is mean, for what they, you did to my daughter. If they all had a glass of water that they just <laughs> on you, fine. But the spitting. I'm not mm. a fan of the spitting. The spitting Jokes on him. Gross. I fucked his daughter. Smooth transition. Spit on so long ago. You've got, still got so much rage. Yeah. yeah. All I want to do is just go to their house and spit on all of them. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. I, don't. I, was, just, I, I was thinking about <laughs> it. Was Who just the that fuck I, are you? I was thinking about it and I, and I was telling Beck and I was like, is that a story that the guys would find funny? <laughs> and clearly not. <laughs> no, just, I think it's funny. It's got just, a, no, yeah. I'm 100% on board with the rage factor. Yeah, I'm raged. Oh, good. Okay, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm mad. Mm. You said it brought you rage and it has brought me rage. I was also like 18 or 17 or 18. So I wasn't emotionally equipped to deal with being yeah, spat on. <laughs> that would have been like by adults. By I the don't way. think yeah. I'm emotionally equipped to be, be spat on by five people now. You know <laughs> what, what I mean? Want to find out? We can crush the mug and then we nah, can all spit on you. I don't think I'd handle it well at all. I don't handle much well. <laughs> yeah, I reckon especially at that age, I would be like, you'd just be in shock and be like, ha, ha, ha. ha. I don't, <laughs> is this what grown-ups do? This doesn't feel right. Yeah. But I then would, like... 12 a.m. lying in bed like, fucking spat him. What the fuck? Did they? Like, right, that's it. And so the dad just wakes up, leaning over the edge of the boat. And now you say, straight into the Murray. <laughs> <laughs> and then slowly, one by one, there, and now you say, straight into the Murray. <laughs> eh, it's a joke. <laughs> and drive away in their fucking stupid boat. I thought it was, was also like say. day one as well. Yeah. So it's not like- <laughs> Seven day thing. Shit's yeah, day like one. I can't go. I <laughs> can't, I can't. But you could. But I can't. I, I didn't. I could drive. If or the boat like bees on fire, everyone has to go. <laughs> everyone has to look. <laughs> if the goat bees on fire, <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Good yeah, shit. I thought them. you were going to say he, they pushed you into the water. No. That's See, a, that's, if someone pushed me into the water... It, that's embarrassing, but at least I'm not like being degraded and spat on. Spat on. Something Spot. about that is even worse. Yeah. They're, that's they're not normally well adjusted people doing that. That's a fucking weird Houseboats thing to do. Houseboats on the Murray. Yeah, no, that's that's weird. Isn't it? Yeah, that's weird. You need clear water. Don't trust anything on brown water. Also, I don't want to be on a houseboat. No? Nah. It's pretty fucking It had cool. a spa on Are the they? roof. And there you go. How big is that? Two story houseboat? Yeah, yeah. That's the fucking size of the engine of this thing. It, it only goes like this fast. Goes down the Murray that fast. I'm telling you, like if you looked in the water, you could you could you could keep up with it by going like this. Really? Like, uh, uh. So okay, uh. I've never been. Well, you could, right? Matt. Yeah, yeah easily. Yeah, because Michael Phelps. Really tip it over in your wake. <laughs> Matthew Phelps. <laughs> nice, nice one. Yeah. That's your name. It's so much funnier than what I said. All right. Although I can't really hear you guys because I've turned my headphones inside out because I didn't realize they could do this. Let's move on to something a little less, a uh, little less conversation, a little l- more action, a little diddle, less awful. Diddle, diddle. What's going on in the Ukraine? Oh Jesus! I've been paying attention. Oh my God! Have you really? Yeah, I've been watching the news. Ben's been watching the news on YouTube. You really, we're really talking about the Ukraine. Fuck it! I don't know. I've seen that there's a war, Aiden. If you didn't know, I, maybe you should look it up, sweetie. Uh, yes, I, I yep. Yeah. Well, I've been looking it up, and I'll tell you what. Mm-hmm. Some of the shit Putin's up to, I'm not fucking happy. Not a fan. I'll tell you right now, Vladimir. He's old, so Call I can't it. say much against him. Wow, so, you, he's not that you've old. Got a, you've got a single camera. I am. Look Speak at him. to him. <clears throat> Tell him, Vlad. I've been seeing what's going on, mate. Not on. All right, cut it out. Okay, the, we've been seeing, we've been watching. Uh, not not a fan. It's not cool. Ukraine's not into it. We're not into it. This is your one warning. All right, I'm telling you now, son. You need to check yourself before I wreck yourself, all right? This is something that I'm not going to be tolerating. This is your one warning, all right? <laughs> That's it. Done. Okay? You keep going. You and me, we're going to have issues. Boyo, all right? Pack it in. If I have to come over there, I'm going to be fucking furious, all right? This is not kosher. UN doesn't like it. NATO doesn't like it. Most of all, son, the problem that you got right now, I don't like it, okay? <laughs> I'm all for fairness and, you know, if you've got problems with someone, sort it out. This isn't how we do it, okay? We it's use not, our words. It's not how we do it. This We're grown-ups, like all right? my cousin. Does it? Yeah. Breaking Maybe news. Smart guy. <laughs> Nuclear fallout in one part of Victoria. Ben Jay's called out Putin, okay? <laughs> this, is, this doesn't continue to happen. Not on my watch, all right? Not on his watch. Not on my watch. Well. If you got issues... Come to me. I'll sort them out. I'll talk to fucking Ukraine. Okay, we don't go in there with tanks. Vladimir Zelensky. Exactly. All right. Any problems? Doors always open. Come and have a chat. Closed. But I don't want to be discussing this again with you, okay? This is done. <laughs> right? Look at me. I'm fucking serious, all right? No more. You're serious. That's all I've got to say on the matter. I'm, not, I'm just not impressed, okay? I uh, thought a couple of first days, whatever, you know, let him have his fun, sort it out, and then he just went way overboard. <laughs> he did. He, he did went go way overboard. overboard. I was so uh, overboard. That I wasn't impressed at all. I'm not. I'm, I'm, not. A bit, I'm a bit hamstrung because I can't say he's quite old. He's in his 70s, isn't he, Putin? Mm-hmm. So I can't, I can't say anything. Getting close. To he'll be getting close. You're in a bad oh, I think on, What's that? Because of the elderly. Oh, he's getting. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, that's my alarm. <laughs> Says Speaking of old Putin. people, <laughs> <laughs> <Time's up. laughs> what a say! Oh, I can't. I really want that to be the title of the podcast, but it can't be. It can't be. Can't. Time's up, Putin. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, the situation's really uh, quite awful. Actually, it's, yeah, really, it's really, it's really, it's really, really, it's really bad. Really, really like I'm joking? No, I don't think you do. you're done. You're going to fucking destroy it's him. It's wild that we're talking about it on this podcast. Time's up, Putin. It actually you did. Uh, say it. <laughs> did it really? Twelve oh seven. Time's up, Putin. <laughs> How did you plan that? Just you fucking. Did, it's just where I'm at at the moment. Twelve oh seven. 107, 207, reminds him. Time's so up, the next one's 12, 10. This time's up, um, Obama. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that one's late, though. That was from last year. <laughs> oh it's from six years ago. Oh. <sighs> All right, good times. Hey, look. Listen, it's bad in Ukraine, but I don't want to talk about it because it's sad. Yeah, let's move on. Um, I saw a video, and I think I sent it to the podcast, of the moment Alec Baldwin found out that that woman was killed. Who videoed that? 
It's the it's it's TMZ. It's from, no, it's in an interrogation room because he's being oh, interrogated. And right, she's he didn't like, know the time. He comes in. It's the woman. The, the Alec, officer. Alec, can we get your thoughts? She's died. What do you yeah. think, Alec? Yeah, did, I sent it to you guys. Did oh, you? I, I saw it at work. It. Yeah, I sent it to you. Did you? Yes. In the group chat. Yes. How Not, dare? Can we get a recreation from you now as an actor? As, a, as an actor, I here? can do it. I can do the lady. Okay, you be the lady. Yeah, it's right here. I'm gonna send it again. It's so good. Okay, it's so good. Don't it's say so good. No. <laughs> yes. We won't reenact it. It's that's probably, probably disrespectful. Yeah, that's what, <laughs> is that what you're going to say? Let's not do the reenactment. <laughs> I want to see. I want to see well, what Aiden does. The, we can cut it video. out. I haven't seen it, so. It's oh. terrible. Oh, is it going to bum me out for the rest no. of the day? Yeah, watch it after. Actually, I don't want to watch it It's not that dramatic. No, it's not that dramatic. It's just a guy seeing that he just killed someone. Just easy as that. I do that every Wednesday. Am I? I'm trying to send to the podcast group, but you know, it's taking a little bit of time. Oh, is it coming through again? It's doing that. I saw the one of the guy on the tram. What the fuck was going on there? The guy on the tram. That's right. You saw the guy. That, yeah, you also the I guy did, on the tram. Yeah. I was on the. I was on a train. I was on the train coming home, and there was this guy that was just hanging from. I don't know what they are. What hand are rails, they? Are they handrails? The handrails, the handrails? Yeah. yeah, he was like on the handrails, and he was horizontal, like that. He had his <laughs> hand. He had his feet on the on the door, and then he was swinging. It was essentially like he was using the train as a gym. And then he got off and he stood in front of the doors and was doing like a little bit of Tai Chi and some heavy stretching. Nice. He'd have his leg up like very high and was lunging into it. Lunging. Really lunging into Really lunging in. And he was bizarre and it was wild and he was clearly cooked. He was so fucking on planet whatever planet. So much pre-workout. So much pre-workout. He only had pupils. He was so sweaty. And he was there for the entire city loop, and he got off at Richmond, right? So that's the city a while. loop workout. The city loop workout, right? That's a while. It's probably like fifteen minutes. Um, you know why it's called a loop? Why? Because in the old days, they would draw all the way around Melbourne a ring. <laughs> they called it the uh, city uh. loop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've, I've gone all the way back to Did like I not send halfway it? through March. Like we're we're back to the pursuit of slappiness and things like that. <laughs> Okay, it's sending now. Oh, it's just sent. Oh, has it? Oh, here yeah. we go. Oh, brand new message. Here we go, Ben. Smooth yeah. transition. It goes for a while, but that's all you need to see. Oh, my Jesus. Why, um... What was he being questioned for? It was, he that shot was the somebody. same day. That but was what did he that, think, like, just... That was the same day. That mm. was like, he just... It happened hours <clears> previous. <throat> and they everyone was just taken to get the statements of what happened. Yeah, right. I don't know if it was like a, you did it on purpose, you know. But that was that. That's ter- it's so terrible. Yeah. And then he leaves. He gets up and he leaves and he calls his wife. And then that's the picture that everyone saw of him crying. Like that was the picture they used. Well, I'm glad that that uh, energy and spark we had is now dead. <laughs> no. Uh, See, if we had reenacted it, it would have had much yeah. more pizzazz. <laughs> yeah. uh, Beg, what time are we at? Uh, 37. Oh, hells yes. What Got was so I much s- time. I was saying something before that. Go on. I don't remember it. Oh, train man. Train man. Train man left. Train man got off at the Richmond after uh-huh. doing his workout, his Tai Chi, his, his heavy lunges. It's very good. And then. Do you mind if oh, I probably can't? He's can't put his video up on the thing. No, no. He's Why? It doesn't have his. Oh, the video is pretty shocking. It's, it's still good, though. Yeah, put the video. Oh, well, I'll look. I'll, re- I'll review it. I Ooh. don't think you can see his face particularly well. Okay, good. Um, but uh, he does all this random garbage and then i so mad I didn't keep recording because I was so nervous he would see me and he was so zapped that I thought he would run up to me and I and there was nothing in between us. So I was like, all right, cool. I'm definitely not filming you. New anymore. undercard fight, Aiden v. Train Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not a bad one. He left and he, he gr- grabbed his bag and he put his, he got it, you know, he had whatever and he stood in the doorway for a little while and he went, Jesus loves you. Peace. That's epic. And left. And I was like, oh, my God. That must be nice to know. There he goes. Jesus. I don't know whether he's an authority on it, though. He's not. He was really a guesswork on his part. I mean. just said Jesus may love you. If someone came in in a suit and said, oh, by the way, guys, Jesus loves you. Just want you to know. Or someone comes in doing Tai Chi and flips and says, by the way. Yeah. Jesus loves you. I found out. Yeah. That guy's talked to Jesus. Yeah. Because he's doing Tai Chi. I'd also like to apologize to the viewers because Aiden called Tai Chi random crap. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Random garbage. It's it's actually... I don't even know what it is. Nobody that watches this podcast does fucking Tai Chi. It's a martial art. Uh, It's a martial art. (laughs) Um, Yeah, he's the guy. He's the guy. 
he's he the thinks guy. he's the guy. Yeah. But then I he wonder, gets like 12 hours of sleep and realizes he is not the guy. <laughs> I not. wonder what the <laughs> Pente- <laughs> you know when they when the apostles spoke in tongues. Uh-huh. They were probably fucking loopy, weren't they? Surely. Yes, the other people sure. on the cart were probably like, what are they doing? What the fuck? And they're going, they're just the language of the Lord. Like those videos they sent you with that woman doing that fucking healing shit. <sighs> My TikTok is wild at the moment, people. <laughs> is she get this woman? She gets into her car. She's like, I've had a bit of a sore throat. Yes, right I've got a bit of a sore throat. So I'm just going to do some quick healing. I'm just going to take it out of my crown. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking bizarre. And then she's like, and now I'm clear. Yeah, she's so fucking wild. I, like just to, I don't know what's going on with these people, but just listen to this man. This guy's going to get you high in 60 seconds. If you sit down, I'm going to raise your vibration so high that you are going to have the physical sensation of being Wang Chung's getting high. You're going to feel like you're high. So I'm going to begin this work now. And already I have like, what? Quick mass. Do you have to already be high? No, nah. um, he looks at. No, nah, he says in forty gateway. seconds. In forty you seconds, you can do it though. He will make you high. You can just open your mind, like because we live in a very narrow plane of perception here. That's if you just true. like, I'll do it right now. You know what she did? <laughs> your cunting daughter. <laughs> It's easy to contact people on other planes of existence. That's so good. It's also very easy to feel high when you go. Yeah. I'm ventilating it. That's a, I'm like, yeah, you're fucking passing out, you moron. Jesus Christ. And people on TikTok, the people's responses are like, man, I, I felt it. Oh, 100%. It's so like, you didn't feel it. But you know, people, you just hype yourself up. You see it with those, uh, and the Lord now, evangelical heroes, you're coming out and you're going to walk. And everyone gets the adrenaline going and yeah. the, the preachers get into this bullshit loop. You know why they call it a loop? Because back in the old <laughs> days, <laughs> and they just, they're saying stuff and they're hearing themselves say it and they just get into this like, uh, 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 like a fighter just slapping their chest yeah. or fucking McConaughey's like, uh, uh, whatever. <laughs> like you just, they get into this loop and they whip themselves up like, I could do anything. That's and then wild. They, you see those people doing that like force energy fighting. And there's a lady no. like, oh, I can stop people. And she's on the beach and the guy runs full pelt. And he's like twice her size and just runs straight into her. And she just believes that she's going to stop him. And does she stop him? Fuck no. <laughs> oh my God. She lands she's, oh, oh, on the ground. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. It's uh, I'm going to find that. I'm gonna put that <gasps> yeah. All right. Send it to me. So I'm going to put it on the screen. That's that is one. wild. Gross. It's wild. These people. These people are crazy, man. These people. I thought Briar was a nutcase. She is. <laughs> She's one off. <laughs> She's a nugget. We haven't heard from her in a while. We'll but it's it's getting at. It's so out of hand that I don't even want to like touch it. Yeah, oh. it's not that we haven't heard from her in a while. It's, it's that it it would bum you out to oh, know no. what's going on. I I th- I would I genuinely if she got a brain scan, I'd be concerned. She has like a tumor on her brain because she's got just gone fully. F- just She's off the radar. Off off the radar. Off the rails. She's mm. gone. She's gone. She's- <laughs> <laughs> is that ah. you, Dan? <laughs> there it is. Uh, hang on, I'll give you the... Send it to the podcast crap. One. Crap. Send it to the podcast crap. Thanks, guys. I'll be here all day. I won't. <laughs> Fuck, because this is crap. Because <laughs> this is crap. Ellie, oh, my God. Oh, look at oh. how she's sleeping she's right so now. This is I think unreal. it's a minute in. Where have I got the time code? Yeah, go to a minute in. Oh, Mango so Madness. Cool. It's wild that you're still called Mango Madness. All right, let's watch this one. Oh, what's going on here? Here we go, everybody. Surely you're just going to put it on the screen, right? Which screen? On the on podcast? The just over. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll show you. I just wanted to. I just want to see it. But y'all. Can't hear oh, anything. minute in, minute in, you said. Minute in, yeah. All the rest of it's just like, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm Her lying so, down and people like waving their hands. Really? Oh, she's just like a mum. Yep. Oh, she's just a mum. Yep. Is that enough for y'all to be able to. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> She's crying. Oh, she that guy's shaking. That's a different oh, person. It? Yeah, it's a different guy. He's just, it's just some fucking buying into a waffle. Okay, you ready to join us in the circle? <laughs> oh, she's concussed. He ran into her. Big time. I've not seen many people run into somebody else. Because they all just bought into it. I've actually never seen somebody run into somebody else <laughs> without the other person going, Ow! 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Like, not, no there's flinching. no brace. It's just like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. Da, da. I think we can, take, we can take comfort in the fact that she can't remember it at least. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened with the wiggly guy, the red shirt guy. Because he's, he's just like something, uh, that didn't go right. Yeah, I'm opting out. Oh, I couldn't possibly help. I'm over here wiggling. <laughs> just going to keep wiggling until you guys resolve whatever that issue I is. I couldn't possibly help. <laughs> What's with the wiggling? All right, Beck, later. We're going to wiggle. I'm going to run into you and we're going to see what happens. We've got to okay. crush a mug. And then you can come join me in the circle. we got to wiggle <laughs> one. you come join me in the circle? Okay, you ready to come join me in the circle? Good times, good times. Oh, that's so wild. That's so wild. People live such wild lives. I mean, we're living wild lives. Just because we live, like we said a million times, we live in an endless children's birthday party in this house. Yes. Oh, I sh- I, wait, hold on. Beck, Beck, the other day when you came home with the bass guitar and you came home with something else, can I tell what the shopping list was when you came home? You can say where I went. Okay, okay. So, uh... Um, so Beck left, right? And I thought she was going to get groceries. Sure. Uh, no, you were doing something like, I'm just going to go to the op shop and get some clothes. That. I was like, okay, cool. And she came back like two hours later with a brand new bass guitar. What? And a sex toy. <laughs> <laughs> I said you could say where. Oh, she went, she bought something from Sexy Land. I said I was going to get something shaped like a cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> It was, and it was, I just had like that. It was that, a big day for me. Just that realize, like, when she walked in, she got a, a, yeah. a thing just in one hand. Yeah, so I forgot just right now. Oh, but up, up, up. <laughs> I was like, Matt, I'm hungry. This is it. <laughs> well, you should have fucking <laughs> thought about I that. Was like, I was like, did you bring the chicken? <laughs> chicken. Uh, did you bring the chicken? chicken is the title of this episode. <laughs> did, you bring- <laughs> did you bring the chicken? That's unreal. Uh, I'm funny. hungry. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, you really followed your heart that day. <laughs> oh, man. I, I got a bass guitar. I tell you what, that was I a know. fucking great day. Yeah, it was a good day. <laughs> there was a lot of buzzing. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, no, I got you know, it. I, when I the got cable it. goes in the thing. Yeah, yeah. That's all the buzzing. Jesus Christ. Get the chicken mat. We won't be hungry. Look. <laughs> <laughs> got so much other stuff to do. Uh, we don't have time to eat. <laughs> oh, boy. <clears throat> so, yeah, that was a fun day. I was just like, this is an awesome day. <laughs> this is an awesome house and an awesome life. Have you ever So Beck tried? played the bass. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. I'm vibrating myself into the next life. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get high in 40 seconds? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God in heaven. It's good times. Uh, that's a good ending to the podcast. Well, we got a little bit of time and there was something I did want to talk to you. I wanted to pitch to you guys. Oh, okay. Can we um, hang on? Can we just quickly sidebar since yeah. you embarrassed me? Can I, Can we talk about how you played Twister with our dog last night and you made her throw up? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> See, what it was, happened in this house? <laughs> it was like, it was like. I was busy. I wasn't there. I was doing something else. I you were playing. You were, you were doing. You were sitting. You were playing. But you, were, you were sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> I picked I pick the dog up sometimes and put her in baby position and scratch her chest and she just looks up at me. But the other day I like she was walking there and I picked her up upside down. Up, put her straight down and there was like a beach. She went <laughs> and there was a vomit on the floor. Oh, when you said playing Twister, I thought you had the mat with the dots out. <laughs> it was like Twister without the mat. Red hair oh, and like green alley. I see. Green I really Ellie. thought I really thought you were playing the bass and coming all day. You came out of the bedroom <laughs> and they're like, "What huh? is going on?" What? And he's Where got am the I? Mat. <laughs> Beck, like, spin the thing. Spin the thing. We've got no limbs left. <laughs> left border circle green. So this is gonna. I, I got to find this. Um, but uh, our all of our friend Kate. One of the twins, Kate. Yeah. Um, what the f- oh, okay. All of our friend, Kate. Oh, yeah. I thought you were saying like, because all the, of our friends. We went through a periods Kate. in the Kate's podcast where you two were the only one that knew Kate and then we three knew That's Kate. Right. Now we all know Kate. Now we all know Kate. The Venn diagram's complete. But she, um, she. With the fridge. Exactly. Oh, did you only tell me? I, did I tell you or did she tell you? I know. This the is not. Story. The story about the thing with the, the note. Podcast. So. She, we all uh, knew. Let's, let's move on. I know this story. As like a setup, one day she goes for a run and she she steps on one of those spiky balls that, at, that fall out of the trees and she fully like rolls her ankle, to, like fucks her ankle up real bad. It's bruised. She had to go to the doctors and she can't walk and blah, 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 blah. Same weekend, her uh, her fridge breaks and she's like, or the week her fridge breaks. And that weekend she's like, I got to get a new fridge. And so she gets a fridge delivered from JB Hi-Fi to her house and I had nothing to do with it she's upstairs mm. she's in an apartment and it's upstairs and the guys come in and she's like 
she thought that the JB Hi-Fi people could take the old fridge. She th- read something or whatever, and they got there like, we can't do that. But <coughs> we can take it down, put it on the curb for you for when you organise hard rubbish because she's on crutches and it's fly to stairs and they're removals people. And she was like, oh, thank you so much. And so they do that. They take it downstairs, put it on the nature strip for hard rubbish. She gets online to go and book the hard rubbish and realises that her council area don't do booked hard rubbish. And she's like, ah, oh, fuck. And she's like, all right, I'll uh, I'll I'll call the council tomorrow because this is at night time. I'll call the council tomorrow or I'll call, I'll try and work it out tomorrow. The next morning, there's a note on her door, on the apartment building door that says, to the resident, can the inconsiderate idiot who has illegally dumped the fridge on the nature strip please remove it immediately? Exclamation point. Wow. It is an offense to dump rubbish. If you know who dumped this rubbish, I encourage you to report them to their council at number or email council so they can be appropriately fined. To the idiot, Ugh. you may like living in a rubbish dump, but your neighbors do not. Keep your hard rubbish for the next hard rubbish collection. You can even drop white goods off at the council depot at address. For free. It's not too difficult to understand, is it? I hope she tapped her with a crutch. <laughs> fucking piece of shit. Wasn't even sitting on the curb for 12 hours yeah. before you fucking no. write a note. Oh my but God. But look, I agree. Piece of shit. But to be fair, she is on crutches. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, give it at least 48 hours to see if it's going to move. Yeah. You know? Give well, them the benefit of the doubt. The The fridge was gone. She, she got, got the note. And then, like, by the end of the day, the fridge was gone and she has no idea where the fridge is gone. And she worked out it was the people across the road because she went out and left a note. Um, do you want to hear her note? It's just sort of like, hey, here's the situation. You read it on the podcast. It was the post show we did it on last week. I, I yeah. So, yeah, read it. Um, said uh, My uh, note would have said, fuck you, fuck your mother, fuck you cunt, unless you're an old person, <laughs> in which case, have a nice day. You're going on the who wronged me list. You're 100. Mm. Are we doing that, by the way? Yeah, we can do it. Yeah, I'm putting the person who wrote this note on my wronged list. Yeah, we're okay. doing the wronged list. To the neighbour who left this aggressive note, I got a, f- a new fridge delivered on the weekend as my old one broke last week. I asked the delivery drivers to put my old one on the nature strip temporarily as I fractured. I have a fractured foot. I don't have a car, so dropping it off somewhere is not an option. I was not dumping rubbish, but rather leaving it there temporarily while I organised for it to be picked up. I hope this isn't too difficult for you to understand and that you might, in future, refrain from being rude to someone whose situation you don't know. Yeah, bitch. Your friendly neighbour. And so she puts that note up and then goes inside to the curtain to see <laughs> and the people across the road come out, look at it, goes back over. He's not even on the, like, the, mm, in yeah. the apartment building. And oh. he's on the phone calling someone out the front and she's sending pictures through the, like, like she's like, it's this motherfucker here. Like, I'm watching him. <laughs> I like the this little is, zoom. <laughs> <the start. laughs> and, like, uh, and it's then. like one hour photo stuff. And then she was getting stressed out because she's like, oh, all my neighbours have seen this thing. And then a note gets slipped under her door. So wait, just just to Whoa. catch me up. So the notes. fridge was gone. Where did she stick her response note? Oh, uh, where the other note was stuck. That on wasn't the- stuck to the fridge? No, no. So that was on their apartment building door. Oh, okay, okay. So okay. That if yeah. you walk like through, every, everybody who, who, who walks through that door will see it. Mm-hmm. Um, she's inside and a note gets slipped under her door. She's like, what the fuck? Did you guys see? It says, hi, neighbor. Um, number, oh, I guess I can say it, number one here. Sorry for your experience so far with the neighbourhood. It was most likely Peter, the neighbourhood pest in the blue house across the street, who left the note. Harmless but nosy. Hope you're settling in and wish you a speedy recovery. Reach out if you need anything. Mark and Jasmine. Mark and Jasmine, Mark and Jasmine. are the best people Good. on this planet. 100%. Fuck Peter the pest. Peter the pest. Fuck you. Mark and Jasmine probably play ba- bass guitar with uh, mm. vibrators all day. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't trust. You don't trust Jasmine Mark and Jasmine? No, nah, look, with uh, Peter the Pest, you know where you stand. Well. He's up front. That's true. Maybe Mark he and Jasmine enough. are like, hey, when your foot's all healed, why don't you come over for a glass of wine and we'll see where it goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got a nice yeah. bass guitar. Mark and Jasmine and over it's like crossed out swingers. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's too forward. It's too soon. Soon. a bit nosy. Yeah, He's always trying to look through our window <laughs> when we're swinging. <laughs> she was saying when she moved in that he came across the room and was like, can I give you a hand with anything? And he's really old and he couldn't do anything. So he just stood there and watched. Ugh. No, thank you. Go away, Peter. So can I give yeah, you a you're hand? You're doing enough. No standing here. <laughs> nosy. Anything you like need taken into the bedroom? <laughs> Like that weird guy on the fucking street that just watched us do the sandwich. Me to help. I can really only carry underwear though. <laughs> <laughs> I have a condition. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, it's GMAT here. And don't forget, if you enjoyed that episode of the GMAT podcast and you want to hear more, we also have the podcast post show over at patreon.com forward slash the GMAT podcast. The post show is a shorter episode recorded directly after the main podcast where we wrap things up and talk about anything we didn't have time to talk about. $3 a month and cancel any time. We are a community supported podcast, so your support over there funds the show and makes it easy for us to keep doing what we love. If you want to support us, head over to patreon.com forward slash the GMAT podcast.